Chris Stevens DIY Auto Repair. All right, guys. So today we're going to be talking about Ansel Battery Tester. So we're going to be going over this and also putting it to the test, sort of speak. We're going to go ahead and use it on a potential battery that I think is bad. Um, I've had this for quite a while now, but to be honest with you, I've only really used it twice. And in this video, it's going to probably be my third time using it. It's pretty cool. Um, so this is by Ansel. And the part number is going to be... Uh, the part number is going to be BA301. So I picked this up from Amazon for $69.99. A lot of times you could get it on sale. They usually have like a 20% off coupon, which will bring it down to $56. And uh, I think that's actually the price that I got it for was the $56. Um, so this particular one works on 6 and 12 volt batteries with the uh, cold cranking amps or CCA of 100 to 2000. It checks the health condition of the battery. It also checks the cranking test and the charging test. So that's pretty cool guys. So not only do you get a battery tester but you also get a cranking test and a charging test analyzer all in one. So that's pretty cool. So it monitors real time voltage in a waveform. It gives you the test results in a few seconds. It stores. It you can review and you can also print test results. Now that's pretty cool. I, I really like that feature. Um, it also has um, so the voltage measurements range from six to sixteen volts DC or direct current. Also, the biggest thing about this little bad boy right here is it's a lifetime update. That is really cool. So, this thing, uh, for a decent price and a small package, actually packs a punch. So, when I was going through looking for a battery tester, I weighed my options. And this was the choice that I had made. Because the price point and for what you get, it's not bad. Now, they had a little bit more expensive ones that I was wanting to get. Um that actually have the printer built in so you can print the the test results right as you test them which is a neat feature especially if you're um, a mobile mechanic or you're, you're you have a shop or whatever the case may be it gets the test results out quicker and you can hand it over to the customer or you can attach it to you can attach it to the the work order or whatever you need to do. The reason why I chose this instead was I was looking at the fact that you're going to have to buy basically receipt paper for it. That might be hard to find. That's an extra cost involved. And so I just kind of, with all that involved, I was like, you know what? I'd rather have something I could plug up to the computer if I really need to and print it out if I need to. And nowadays, most people have access to a laptop, Wi-Fi, so, um, also the biggest selling point on this for me was the price and you get lifetime updates. On um, the one I'm talking about and on some of the other ones that I've seen, you only get like a year of updates and after that, I th I'm not sure if you have to pay for um, additional updates after that or if um, you just, you're out of luck. So. That's why I went ahead and went with Ansel. So this is not really going to be a product review per se. Um, I haven't really used it very much. So I, I don't have a lot of time with it. I've, like I said, I've only really used it twice. Once on a customer's car and once on my own car. Um, and it did pretty well both times. So um, anyway... We're going to go ahead, um, so the cable, pretty good, um, thick cable, and these uh, clamps, they're pretty nice, they're not, they don't seem cheap, they clamp on pretty well uh, That I, when I've used them. I like that, it, you know, they're not these big honking clampers, you know, 
you can um, store them pretty nicely. And the, the, the feel of this is good quality, pretty good quality. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Um, I don't have the box and the stuff that it came with. But basically what it came with was it came with a little ni a nice nylon pouch with Ansel stitched into it, which I thought was really nice. Um, you could just wrap this up and stick it in that pouch. I usually keep this in uh, with all my electronics in a, in a nice hard case. Um, the one thing I do have, and I will show you guys that after we do some testing, but um, it comes with a USB um, port here to plug into your computer for two reasons. One, you can print your test results or your waveforms, and also two, for those lifetime updates. So after we do some testing, we'll bring you guys back and hook it up to the, the laptop and show you guys how to print those tests and show you how to tech, uh, initially do the updates. So without further ado, let's go test the battery. So before we actually hook up our tool and do our test, we're going to do two tests with the battery installed in the car and then we're going to do another two tests with the battery outside of the vehicle so you guys can see that and so we can get a, a really good accurate testing, an accurate test. So let's go ahead and plug this up. Okay guys, so like I said, our battery is here in our trunk. Normally it's under the hood, but now they're starting to put the batteries in the trunk for weight distribution. So we are going to go ahead and hook up our tool and show you guys how this works. Let's take you over here to the battery and see if we can't show you the information. So right there, hopefully you guys can see that the 730 cold cranking amps, that's where I got that information from. So the information will be on your battery. Alright guys, so this is our tool. After we hooked it up, it, we got it turned on. So you have basically these buttons here. So this is your up, your selectors, your inner, your, your escape or your back button. Here's your waveform button. So we're going to go to the screen. We have car, motorcycle, waveform, review, which is like your last test that you did. You can print you could print your test and here's your screen setup. So we'll just check these out. Let's go to motorcycle and here's all these different batteries. We're obviously not doing a motorcycle, so let's go to escape. Here's your waveform. And as you can see, obviously there's nothing going on. It's static. So current is 12.1, max is 12.1, minimum is 12.1. So we're going to go back. Yes, we're confirming we're going back. Review. Review last result. So we get to see the last time, the last result we did. Or we could go to review waveform. And then our print option, we'll show you guys that later on. We can't show you out here. So there you go, guys. That's basically an overview. So we're going to go ahead and do our first test. So we're going to go to car. Like I said, we're going to do two in vehicle and two out of vehicle. So we're going to go ahead in vehicle, battery test. I failed to mention you can also do a cranking test and a charging test. So that's pretty cool. This little tool will also tell you all that information. We don't need to know that. We're going to go to battery test. So check surface charge, turn lights on, take headlights on about 10 seconds, turn off lights. So that's going to get rid of any surface charge that we have. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Stay, stay right there guys. Don't move. <laughs>
All right, you guys still there? All right, cool. So now that we did got rid of the surface charge, we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Regular. Let me go back. So here you could do regular flooded, AGM flat, AGM spiral, gel, EFB. We're going to go to regular. And here's the different battery standards. We're going to go to CCA, which stands for cold cranking amps. And you can find this um, value on your battery. Ours is going to be 730. I showed you guys that already. So we're going to hit 730, enter, under measurement. So our state of health, which is your SOH state of health is 72%. It says good, recharge. We have our cold cranking amps that the Ansel um, tested. And we're at 528 amps. Our current voltage is 12.07. And our state of our SOC or state of charge is at 11%. Good recharge. And this is pretty cool here. It has a green light for your good. This uh, like yellow uh, exclamation point in a triangle, which means caution. And then you have another one that lights up red that says your battery is bad. So that's pretty cool. It takes all the guesswork out of all these numbers so that. If you're just a visual, you check it. Okay, I need a new battery. So let's see here. We're going to go to Escape. And we could check out our waveform. And it's still not going to do anything because we don't have the car running or anything. It's static. So then we're going to go back and we're going to do one more test. Go back to car. We're going to hit Enter. In vehicle battery test, we already got rid of the surface charge, so we're just going to go ahead and go through that. And there you go. It's it's going it's pretty accurate. It's not giving us no big 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 difference here. Now, one thing to also note is as we're filming this, our trunk is open, which you could see our lights are on which is why I'm going to go ahead and do this test with the battery out of the car as well. So, there you go guys, that's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and take this out. We're going to take our battery out of the vehicle and retest it. Alright guys, so now that we got our battery out of the car, we're going to go ahead and test it. But before we do, if you guys cannot tell whether yours is a regular uh, flooded battery or one of the newer AGM, the best way to tell is get it. And I don't know if you guys can hear that, but you're going to hear sloshing in there. If you hear sloshing, it's the regular old school batteries. If you don't hear that, then it's probably the newer generation batteries. So let's go ahead and hook up our tool. And we'll, one cool thing about this tool is that even if you mix up the red and blacks, it's not going to hurt the tool. You're not going to blow it up. And one thing important to note too is before doing a test, you want to make sure your terminals are clean. Ours is clean, so that's why I didn't even mention it before. So we're back. So we're going to go ahead go to car we're going to hit enter this time we're going to go to out of vehicle regular flooded cold cranking apps same thing so our state of health 70% says good recharge Cold cranking amps that it detected was 515 amps. Our battery voltage is 12.32 volts. So we're going to go down here. State of charge says good recharge at 53%. So 
So now we're going to go ahead take off our black one. We're going to reinstall it and do one more test. Go back to enter, out of vehicle, regular, CCA, 730, bam, state of health, 70%, state of charge, 53%. So, unfortunately, we have a battery charger, but we just don't have no outlet out here. So, what we're going to do is take our battery to our local AutoZone and let them recharge it. They'll do it for free. And then we're going to bring it back and test it and see what we get. So, this is an old battery. This battery was the OG battery that came with the vehicle when I bought it. About It's a 2016. It's about five years old. So... It's actually holding up pretty well. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to be getting a battery soon. Usually vehicle batteries last between three to five years. So we're approaching that five year mark. But let's go ahead and get this charged up and see what we read. And we're back guys. So we just got back from the second time from AutoZone. So the first time we went, we dropped it off. We had them test it. They said it was good, it just needed to be recharged, which is exactly what our tester said. Now we're getting it back after it charging for two hours, and now they're te they tested it again, now they're saying it's bad. So AutoZone is saying we have, we have a bad battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect it. And we're going to give it a retest now that we got it back. Vehicle, we're going to do out of car or out of vehicle. Regular, CCA 730, charge retest. So our state of health is charge and retest. But our state of charge is 93% charge and retest. So I'm pretty sure that our battery is shot. We must have a bad cell. Like I said, the battery is about five years old. It's about time to replace it anyway. So I think we're just going to go ahead and replace it. So this tool works pretty well, pretty good. I really like this. Um, it's compact. It does many different things. And it's pretty accurate so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take you inside and show you the print feature we're gonna make sure we have something to preview so since we have something to preview we're gonna go ahead and leave it at that I'm gonna take you inside and hook this up to to our laptop and show you guys um, this neat thing about pulling up your results on the computer and being able to print them so let's head to the laptop okay guys so in order to do we're gonna do an update first or we're gonna check for an update first so you want to bring up your uh, BT link homepage uh, before you get started you want to go through the manual and you want to go ahead and um, download this um, the web page here and uh, get this all set up so in order to go to the upgrade mode on your device you're actually gonna have to press enter and hold it while you plug in the device and now it says update mode so then you're gonna come over to your computer and you're just going to simply hit check update. And ours is already up to date because we actually did an update prior to using the, the device. You always want to make sure there's no updates prior to actually using the device. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. So we're going to unplug it to get out of update mode. We're going to plug it back in. 
So now we want to print or we want to um, print our um, test results. So we're going to come over here on our web page. We're going to click print. Let's clear that. So we want to hit print. And then we're going to come over here to our device. And we're going to go to the print option. So we're going to hit enter. And it says upload results, upload waveform, or delete results. So we're going to go to upload result. And here we go. Our state of health from our, uh, this is the test result from our 2016 Dodge Charger SRT392. So we have state of health at 77%, state of charge at 30%, cold cranking amps at 569 amps, the standard is 730, you got your resistance, your voltage, and your good recharge. So that's pretty cool, guys. And then you can also upload your waveform, but unfortunately, um, our data didn't save for our waveform. So, but basically, it looks like I showed you guys. I mean, it wasn't much anyway to print because it was just a straight line. So we're going to go ahead and print. All right, guys. So we printed out our test results. And as you can see here, That's pretty cool. So you can print it directly from the BT link here on your web page, or you could just actually highlight all this, or you could even hit copy, and you can highlight it and send it to Microsoft Word, and you could you know make it a little bit neater or put it in a work order or work form, whatever you guys need to do. So I think I think that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a really cool feature. I, I really like that also with the the endless updates and Ansel is actually um, It's not really a generic name. Uh, they've got scan tools out there. They got all kinds of different automotive tools So it's not like they're a generic version of something. They actually do have a name to them um, But on the flip side Ansel's not Ansel is not sponsoring this video. Um, no one's telling me what to do or say. I bought this device with my own money. Um, so I just like it. Um, like I said, I, ha I don't have too much time with it. I haven't really used it a lot. Um, I'm really going to try to change that. And maybe later on I'll do an actual review. Um, whether, it's, whether it's good or bad or whether... Um, you might want to save your money on it or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, um, maybe I'll actually buy a different tester and uh, make them go head to head and, and see if, if um, a little bit more uh, pricier tester or maybe even a cheaper tester and make them go head to head and, and see, hey, which one is, um, is the be which one's better, which one's not. So, anyway, guys. I hope that um, helps. Hopefully that gives a little insight into this particular automotive uh, battery analyzer. It's pretty cool. I like it. I just wanted to let you guys know about this product, what it does, what, what it does, how it works, um, and just give you guys a demonstration basically uh, because I thought it was pretty cool and for about 60 bucks, it's not bad guys. So there you have it guys. So hopefully that helps you guys decide if you need a battery analyzer, whether you're picking up this one or whether you're going for a different one. Well, hopefully you guys can see it says non-spillable lead acid battery. And also down here it says high performance AGM battery. So this is not our typical lead acid battery that we were testing before. And like I said, if you can't find it on here, shake it up. And if you don't feel anything sloshing around in there, it's probably a, a AGM. So we're gonna test it the same way. We got our positive on positive. We got our negative here. We're gonna hook it to negative. We're gonna come over here. Let's see if we can get that glare out. We're gonna hit vehicle, in vehicle, battery test. We already cleared the surface charge. We're gonna go to AGM flat plate. And the CCA on this one is 800. 
So we're gonna go to CCA 800. State of health is 100%, good battery. The cold cranking amps is 890 amps and the current voltage is 12.71. And the state of charge is 98%, good battery. So there's another test with the known good battery. And our battery analyzer is able to pick that up. So good job.